beautiful people, I am back! <laughs> and I am back, not with a try on, but an update. Um, so basically, um, it's been almost three years since I had my um, tummy tuck surgery, my cosmetic surgery. And, um, you know, I still get questions about it and updates. And, like, one of the main uh, questions I get is, what does your scar start to look like after time passes by? Does it lighten? Does it get, you know, does it go away? And this, that, and the other. So, general answer to that is that scars are scars. They do not go away. Scars do not go away. If you ever had a cut and had stitches, you still have the mark there. Um, if you had it, if you got a cut when you were a kid and you had stitches, it probably seems like it's invisible because you have grown from that time. Your skin has stretched out, making your scar stretch along with it. So it might disappear. Uh, but as an adult, if you get a scar, this scar will stay with you forever, okay? Um, so, that's one clear up I want to say. Um, a scar will not disappear. Now, with that being said, um, you get this coloration around the area of the scar. Uh, when I say around the area, I mean like right above the line of the scar and right below the line of the scar, you know, and maybe the surrounding just surrounding the scar not on the whole skin area or anything like that but surrounding the thing and with that there are hundreds of creams that they have out there for dark spots and stuff like that <clears throat> that you can use to lighten the pigmentation of the color of the scar and of the color around the scar um so i have uh i am not good at staying on top of um like regimens and stuff like that so i'm not good at uh taking vitamins <laughs> i'm not good at taking medication i'm not good at taking uh uh you know like things like that that you should be that you should do repeated repetitively over and over again like i will do it for a certain amount of time and then i stop and then maybe one day I'll go back to it. Same like dieting. I start it and then I get to a place I feel comfortable and then I stop and then I go back because I start getting weight again. So <laughs> I'm really bad at that, at that type of uh, stuff. So with that being said, I have tried about three different um, creams uh, for uh, pigmentation and um the last one that i am using actually i really like um so i don't know if you got have seen before um i don't know if you guys have seen before that i had um bought um muesli um which is um like you can get different stuff for acne, wrinkles, this that, and the other, but I got it for pigmentation of the face because um, I get like a what they call a sun stash. I don't have a mustache, all right, guys, but I get like a pigmentation around the mouth area over here and on the sides, and just a little bit up here, so it kind of gives the illusion that I might have a mustache, but I really don't, and that's only sometimes. Anyway, it comes out more in the sun, so <laughs> it, when I get a suntan, I should say. So, um, yeah, so I got muesli and I started using that and I see a big difference um, while using that on my face. So I had started like thinking, well, if it works here, then it could work on my scar. Um, so I started using it on my scar as well. And like I said, I don't, I'm not like repetitive with it. So I'm not even repetitive with it on my face. So... <laughs> like one day I'll do it one day I won't I'll skip two days I'll do it for a week straight <laughs> I'm really bad at this that stuff so um, with that being said I still notice a difference um, where I know that if I use it the way I'm supposed to be using it that it will it should work really well on my scar down here 
like it's working on my face. So that is a big question that I get about uh, my tummy tuck. Um, you know, what does the scar look like and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, what will the scar look like down the line or whatever. Now, everybody is different. Everybody's skin is different, skin textures and things like that. So everybody is different. I'm just speaking on from my experience, okay? Um, my personal experience. So everybody will have a different effect than what I have. Some people, um, they don't get a discoloration and their scar almost looks invisible, like you don't see it at all. So, you know, everybody is different um, in, in that area. So that's what I will say about the scar on my stomach. Um, as far as liposuction, um, liposuction is not a weight loss. I've said this before if you watched my other like updated videos about my surgery. Um, it is not a weight loss plan, okay? It does not stop you from gaining weight. It does, you know, it, it doesn't do any of that. So yes, it removes fat um, and you can have it injected somewhere else like your butt, your hips, your breast, maybe in your face, you know, whatever the case may be. Yes, you can take it out and put it back in, but and you can take it out and throw it out, okay? But you can take it out and throw it out and guess what? If you eat the wrong things or you don't exercise or you don't do what you are supposed to do to maintain that, you will gain it back. So it is not a fix if, you know, for people out there that think liposuction is a fix, it is not a fix. Uh, you, If you want liposuction and you want to maintain the results that you have from your liposuction, or you want to even um, better the effects that you had from liposuction, you have to maintain a lifestyle. A lifestyle of gym, healthy eating, a lot of water and things like that otherwise you're gonna go right back to where you were not a hundred percent because the fat will just start going to different areas so your body will look different because you've had liposuction done so you know usually you, people do liposuction yes to remove fat but also to sculpt their body in a different way you know like if they have too much fat on their waist here and they want a smaller waist they'll they'll suction out that and when you do gain weight it might not necessarily go back to here it might go to your arm or it might go to your legs or your butt or your face so your chin anywhere it might not go back there so you will gain the weight back that you've you know thought that you've lost and you'll never see again you will gain it back, but it won't necessarily be the same way. Um, so yeah, so that's what I would say about liposuction and the tummy tuck. Um, you wanna maintain your results, you want to even get better results, you have to maintain a lifestyle, a lifestyle of consistency, of going to the gym, of eating right, and things like that. Now I say this because I know <laughs> I don't maintain a lifestyle I mean I, my lifestyle is better than what it was before I don't eat as much junk food as I used to eat like I was a big cake eater cookie eater snacking and this and that and the other so I, I I don't do that as much as I used to now I still do it don't get me wrong because I just can't I can't stop <laughs> <laughs> right um and i don't i still eat the way like i normally eat like i didn't cut my rice you know and switched it out to salads and things like that and i didn't switch my rice to cauliflower rice i didn't switch potatoes to whatever you uh to squat my spaghetti to squash i didn't do any of that um but i don't eat as much as I used to before, um, but I still eat kind of the same things that I, I like, if that makes sense. So I eat it in moderation. Now I've gained weight um, within the past three years. I fluctuated in weight. I've 
haven't gone back to my surgery weight, oh, excuse me, which was 135. I have not gone back to that, but, um, and I don't think, I don't think I'll ever get, really get back to that again, because it's a lot, it is a lot of work. I'm a busy person. I have, you know, I got a lot of stuff that I got to take care of. So, and not that I make excuses, you know, but there's only so many times so many hours in a day that I can do what I have to do because I do have family I have to take care of I do work full-time I do videos and a whole bunch of other stuff so it is a lot to maintain and um, so yeah so I don't you know maintain a gym all the time I do go to the gym occasionally I have like spurts of gym <laughs> So it'll be like, all right, this month I'm going to the gym. I can go to the gym for like two months straight and everything is all good and dandy. And then they'll go three months without the gym. So yeah, so I go in spurts of the gym. I still eat what I want and I've gained weight. Now I even gained the weight back, back to the point of where I was before surgery. So, but my weight was just carried differently. Um, but I have lost that weight now and now I'm back down. I'm at one, the last time I checked I was at 150. So I think my actual goal weight for myself is about 140. So if I can get those 10 pounds, I'll be happy. Um, but I'm not killing myself right now, especially now it's the holiday season. So I'm not even concentrating on myself. I'm concentrating on getting gifts and this and shopping and all that stuff. But um, I do want to meet that goal of the 140. I, I think I, I, I know I can do it if I really, you know, hustle and do it aside from, you know, other issues that I have going on myself. But, um, yeah, so, you know, surgery is not a fix-all, end-all. You have to maintain it. You have to, you know, you have to put in the work. So, yeah. So, I'm going to show you guys what my scar looks like now. Um... I'll even show you some of my liposuction scars, what they look like now. Some are lighter, some are still dark, um, and some look like they're like completely gone. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna show you my liposuction scars on my arms. So the ones that I had, they removed the fat from down here. Um, and you can see like I have gained weight. <laughs> But that's not what we're here for. So I had a scar here. I have a scar. You can see it right there. Um, but it's very light. So you can barely see it. So this is what I mean. Like some scars are lighter. And then I have another scar right here on my elbow. You can see it right there. Um, which is also very, very light. So these two scars are actually really, really light. Um, and then on this side somewhere over here the same area as the other one <laughs> I can't find it now so apparently so this one is really 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 light because you can't even see it um, I know there's one here because somewhere over here, I think. but I know there's one here because I used to put medication on it um, what's this one oh, right here. so yeah so this looks like this is it here. I can't even find it. Oh, right here. See this? It's right in there. So they stick a, a cannula right in through here. So yes, yeah, so um, so that scar is really light. And then I have this one on my elbow right here, which is also really light. So you don't really see these ones on my arms much. Um, I do have one on my back as well. I'm gonna show you guys. So, oh, th these are from my Fajas. But this one in the middle right here, I don't know if you guys can see, but this one in the middle right here, this is probably my darker one out of all the, um, out of all the uh, suc liposuction scars that I have. And that one is. These are from my Faha. <laughs> my, um, 
my waist trainer, I should say, because I didn't put a shirt under it. So yeah, so this one in the middle here is probably my darkest one out of the liposuction scars that I have. Um, and I do, they did lipo under here, so which is also very light. And this one you can barely see. And then, so that those are the liposuction scars because the incisions are so small, so it doesn't really leave much of a scar. And then last but not least is my tummy tuck um, scar, which I'm gonna show you guys right now. I'm gonna bring you guys down. Okay, so here is my tummy tuck scar. Um, so you can barely see any scarring in the belly button. Um, and here is my scar. Now it is getting lighter since I've been using the mucilage also. So <laughs> if you heard that, that was my stomach. <laughs> um, but it still has some way to go, um, especially like in this area. And here, um, I don't really get concerned about this scar, the darkness of it. The scar itself, you kind of don't see, but it is the pigmentation that you see the most. So that is what you see most is the coloring, the discoloration. But you don't see the actual scar, the line itself, the cut. Um, unless like you're up close like this. Um, you can see the the scarring here but most of it is just like really discoloration here that you see so I'm working on uh, lightening that my only I don't care about this part here I just don't like this part because when I wear my bathing suits this is the part that you see is on the hip right here so that's the only part that kind of annoys me but I'm already at a point it's gonna be almost three years and it's just like whatever for me right now and this is what I basically look like now almost three years um, I still you know I've gained some weight so I have some fat here and I still have some you know obviously I have some fat in my belly but it's still overall nice and flat and you know that's basically it after three years, almost three years, it'll be three years, um, you know what it looks like. So I had all this fat, I had fat removed in my back, my arms. Um, they don't really remove fat in your stomach um, when you have a tummy tuck um, at the same time because they work with the muscle and that causes um, if they do liposuction while uh, doing a tummy tuck in the tummy, um, you get higher risk of infection and things like that. So they don't really do liposuction in the stomach area here while you're uh, when you have a tummy tuck. But um, they pull the skin down because the tummy tuck is really it's really meant to tighten up your stomach when you have like excess skin from losing weight or having kids and stuff like that so that's like the real purpose of the tummy tuck you can have a tummy tuck and still have a belly um it'll just be flatter it won't be like saggy and stuff like that so yeah so basically that's it that is what my um three year update is um, if you're planning on getting any type of surgery, just make sure you do your research. You want to really, you know, uh, research your doctors, um, techniques, you know, look at a lot of girls, follow a lot of girls, follow doctors. Um, I like to follow girls that have actually had surgery with a doctor I'm interested in um, having a procedure done with. Um, that's what I would recommend um by far because they have real life experience some doctors they like you know they just want to advertise and they only show the best of their work um and you want to see both sides you want to see the best of their work and you want to see the worst of their work and um make their comparison you want to find out if they're board certified um 
you know, have they had any thefts, things like that because it is, you know, a big step. So that is what I would do, um, you know, for, that's what I would say to anyone looking to have any type of uh, cosmetic surgery. Just do your homework, do your research, and don't rush, don't rush. Pick a few doctors and then narrow it down to the best one that you think will suit you. And um, yeah, and that's basically it. That is my update. Um, if you guys have any questions about cosmetic surgery or anything like that, you know, hit me up uh, in the comments. I'll, you know, I have no problem talking about it or my experience and whatnot. So yeah. Um, and that is it for my video. Like always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below because I do read your comments. And if you guys are not following me on my OnlyFans, make sure you guys follow me on my OnlyFans, onlyfans.com slash MissLupe, and my Instagram at uh, Miss Lupe's official page. And everything is in my description, so just click around and go show me some love. And I will catch you guys on my next one. Later! <laughs>